is a video about the uh, Malchus water wheel designed and built by Will and Malchus at MIT. I'm Steve Strogatz and I'm Howard Stone. I'll be doing most of the narration here and Howard is going to work the video camera. Now, uh, first let me show you a little about this water wheel. Alright, if I turn it on, then you'll see that water comes out and uh, goes into many chambers around the rim of the wheel. This manifold pumps the water. The water is pumped up through here, comes out through these nozzles into these chambers. And notice that the chambers have little holes in them and that's why the water drained out. By the way, uh, the water has been colored green with food coloring so you can see it. Now, let me uh, show you some solutions here, some of the behavior of this wheel. Uh, first, well, I have two control parameters I can play with. One is I could turn this screw, which would prop the wheel up more, and uh, that would effectively change gravity. The other is that there's a brake here, which I can tighten or loosen, which changes the uh, coefficient of rotational friction. So let me now just set the brake in a certain place, and uh, I'll show you a particular type of behavior. With any luck, this will settle into a uniformly rotating solution. Okay, now there was nothing special about rotating it in that direction. Notice that everything is symmetrical. The water is coming in symmetrically at the top, unlike a normal water wheel where the water would come in on the side. So I should be able to get it to rotate in this direction too, in a steady way. A uniform way. Uh, and it seems like that's more or less happening now. True? Yeah. Okay. Howard believes it. But now let me change the parameters to one where um, those parameters were such that this uniform rotating solution was stable. But that's not always the case. Now if I tighten the brake a little bit to here, uh, I should be able to see a complicated motion in which there are reversals, um, irregular and unpredictable reversals of the wheel. Okay, so so far it's just rotating to the right. Though not uniformly. Certainly not uniformly. And uh, now it's gone back to the left. See, will it go to the right? Now it goes to the right. But now it's going to go to the right again. No, nope, it goes back to the left. All you're, right. you're right there, left. Ah, yes. All right. Can we ever get it to go twice in the same direction? Has it done that yet? Oh, no. It did at the very beginning. At the beginning, maybe. Come on, go over the top. Next time it will. Not quite. And made it too tight. Yeah. Let me try no, making no, give it a little it, bit give it one more. Give it one more. One more? Yeah. You see, if the brake is set too tight, it goes into a simpler motion, which is just a uh, once to the left, once to the right, once to the left, once to the left, uh, the right. So. We were hoping to get a chaotic oh, solution where it has irregular that. reversals. Maybe I can get that by loosening it a little bit. All right, now it's oh, reversing. It went twice before. Yeah, but, oh, and there it goes twice in that direction. Okay, this is better. Now, you might want to mention it's a mechanical analog. Well. Yes, this is a uh, mechanical analog for the famous chaotic system known as the Lorentz system, um, discovered by Professor Lorenz also at MIT in the 60s. To see the uh, analog, roughly, physically speaking, you can think of the wheel as um, a single convection cell, and the rotation of the wheel is like the rotation of the convection cell. It's the difference, though, is that the driving here is the water inflow, whereas in the convection problem it's uh, temperature gradients. 
Actually, this is an exact analog, and uh, for a derivation of that connection, you can look at uh, my book on nonlinear dynamics and chaos in the chapter on the Lorentz equation. Well, okay, that's the Malchus water bill.